Gary, let's start first of all talking about Paddy in uh, international duty during the week. Good start. Yeah, great. So it's considering you plucked him really from obscurity at Carlisle. Did you ever think that within, what was that, within a year really of you doing that, he's out playing international football? No, um, you, you're never sure, are you? But what you want to make sure of is that you, you pick up a player, he does his job, which he did. Um, all last year he was knocking in the goals and that was where people suddenly started talking about him. And when you get people talking about him, then obviously it's going to you know, remind the international squad that he, he's available for the Republic of Ireland sort of thing. You know, and I was surprised he didn't sort of maybe get a call up last year at some stage because he was banging in the goals. But it's good because it helps with somebody's confidence. I think he's seen other international players that are in his squad that he's got no need to be in awe of. And I think that helps with confidence as well. He's obviously very pleased to be in the squad, and um, and it's a you know a, a very proud moment for him. I'm sure his family, for us as a club, and um, I'm sure with what Mr. Trapattoni would have seen yesterday, I'm sure he'd be involved again because he had 25 minutes and uh, and played his part. Something which will affect Yeovil though, if players are going away on international duty, is there enough of a squad here to, to back up a, a team if there are players missing on international duty? Well, we're trying hard to, to get a squad together that um, uh, that is big enough to handle the championship, international weeks, all that sort of thing. You know, that's what we're trying hard to do. So. Um, the good thing about the championship is that you do get international weeks, so while your internationals are playing, there's no games. But uh, you always touch wood or cross your fingers and everything else that they don't come back injured. Um, and uh, and that's, you know, that's one of the pitfalls, I suppose. But the beauty is, when we went to the game, me, Terry and Darren, Darren were sitting as proud as punch in, in the stands there and uh, after our meat pie and chips, because <laughs> we're athletes as well, you know. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and, you know, we felt proud that Paddy Madden, and alongside Paddy Madden's name in the programme was Yeovil, that we was part of that, that game, you know, Wales versus uh, Republic of Ireland. So hopefully we can uh, get a few more. Three, like three proud fathers there in the... Uh, yeah, it was, was, it was, was yeah. yeah. All, you know, like giggly little kids when... Uh, He's coming on, you know. We, we we see him get up off the bench, and and then he started stripping off to you know get ready, and we we was very excited for him. Yeah. While well, we're talking about international, let's uh, talk about your new keeper who's uh, replacing Steck uh, for well for a few months anyway. Until that, you've got uh, that was in the same game as well. You yeah. didn't uh... listen. I'd love to be very enthusiastic for you and that, but that has taken a little bit of a turn. Right. Okay. Um, what can you tell us about that? So I appreciate the enthusiasm of your question. <laughs> Do you want to turn it down? No, 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 keep it there, mate, keep <laughs> it there, because um, we were very excited as well that we were you know, getting in Wayne Hennessy. As we know, he's been out for a little while, and of course, we'd have been taking a, a little bit of a chance, but the club said that he was, he was ready, and, uh, and, and he was, and, and, and you know, I spoke to his, Wayne's goalkeeper coach at the game yesterday, and he said he's been training very well, he looks, he looks good. And unbelievably, just a freak little thing that happened to him uh, in the warm up because he was the second keeper there, um, and he he just felt that he wasn't comfortable in 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 one of his knees, so um, that's going to need to be put on ice. Okay. So the, the search will go on then. For well, the search, assessment. you know, was happening from ten o'clock last night when we realised that there could be a, a problem. You know, we see him come off the, uh, the training area or off the pitch pre, pre-match quick early and we thought oh my god what's happened here like you know so from that moment onwards we was on the phone and uh, just in, and, and of course it's something that we need to do we will have a goalkeeper in place but um, it's taken us a you know a little uh, a few phone calls and a little while and a bit of negotiation to to get someone in there's been some no's out there but there's also been some some yeses and uh, Hopefully we'll be bringing in the right type of goalkeeper for, for, for our next part of our campaign. So, great question, mate, and I'm sorry I had to let you down. That's all right. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Steck then. Is he, is he all right? Is he coping okay with... Uh, with you know, well, he, well he's, he's probably fast asleep at the moment because they, they've put him out to, to 
put the bone back straight because that's uh, you know he's a big softy really, and uh, he starts crying if he gets hurt. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um, but he's. Um, Did you remember a few tears on yeah, the playoff? Well, that's true, but that was tears of happiness, and yeah. we like that. Um, he's. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a big strong lad, but at the end of the day, bones take six weeks to heal. Whoever you are, however big you are, however much a brave man you are or a coward, it still takes six weeks. Um, so they've had to realign it, and uh, it doesn't make it, you know, have an operation to realign it. It doesn't make it any longer at the other end. It just means that when he does come back, it's a professional uh, thing that goalkeepers need to make sure that their hands you know, a, a riot because so, that's their trade. Yeah, occupational hazard really, isn't it, with a goalkeeper? Yeah. So you just said, talking about Joe Rules before, what, what does he bring to the Oval? What, what can we expect to see on Yeah, the sorry. That's right. Well, you know, he's not only a left back and a left winger, but he's and a left midfielder, but he also quadruples up as a goalkeeper. I'm <laughs> 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 He's going to have to. He's trying to get quadruples in short. He's, <laughs> he's going to have to. Um, <laughs> now listen, he's a, he's a good player, Joe, and he's a, he's a competitive midfield player, I would say, is, is what he is now. You know, we're strong in midfield and we're strong at the back as well, but um, he's a great addition to our squad for the competitiveness of it. And Good lad. Uh, Malky rates him very highly at Cardiff. They need him playing at this level. Um, and once he's, you know, had some games for us, I'm sure Malky will involve him at some stage in in the Premiership. Well, that's three months. That's signing. Yeah, it's three months. Yeah. And um, let's talk a bit about then uh, the game coming up against Burnley or away. Uh, will you be taking in the sights of Burnley when you're up there? I've done a bit of research, Gary. Um, got a few questions for you about yeah, Burnley. Cool. Just a few easy, just quick quiz, really. Listen, I'll tell you now. Here we go. Ain't got clue. Ain't got clue. <laughs> right, we'll we'll start. We'll start. Should be easy. What county is it in? <laughs> oh, no, I do know that. Yeah. Lancashire. He's got it. Lancashire. Uh, what industry from the, uh, from, I'm talking industrial revolution now, industry made it wealthy? Um, don't know. Cotton, is that? That was obvious really, really wasn't it? Cotton. Why? Why didn't you think of that? Why is it obvious? <laughs> Stop. Come on. Uh, turf more capacity, something a bit more your thing. What sort That's of size? That's got to be 22,000? It is, 22,500, oh, yeah. Oh, unbelievable. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, and the club mascot, can you name the club mascot? Billy. Well, nearly, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well then. Bertie well, it should be Billy. Yeah, it was <laughs> um, He was famous for rugby, rugby tackling a streaker at Burnley once. Um, was it? Yeah, a few years ago. Was that his, uh, yeah. that was his uh, story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> called it rugby yeah. tackle, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've um, done that. So what, go on, t- tell us about the Burnley game and you nervous about it? Is it a big game really? A big club, Premier League, not long ago? Good. Sean Dyche has got them playing at a good standard, they work hard, they're a little bit in our image, you know, I think not just a little bit, you know, they, they do work hard, they they play their sort of four four two, they've got wide wide players and people that can get the ball in the box, they've got people that get on the end of things and they 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 look up for it at the moment. They look like a team that's um, comfortable with each other, comfortable with the game and uh, it's gonna be a tough tough game but we've got a Go there. These are one of the, these are the types of games you have to be in, stay in, and 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 take the probably few chances that you might get. If you create a lot of chances, then great. But it is one of those that uh, if you play well, you can win. And uh, but if you're not on form, you definitely can lose. How are the team feeling after a defeat to Birmingham last weekend? They're going into the game positively. Yeah, I think so. We were disappointed. There's, you can still be positive in disappointment, sort of thing. You know. Um, we felt that we had enough chances. The luck really wasn't on our side on the day. We obviously Merrick and the save the lad made with his foot. Yeah, it was a great save, but um, you know we, we thought generally those go in, don't they? And uh, we had a couple of other chances. So it was just a matter of not really taking our chances when we we needed to to uh, put us in the lead, if you like. And we're we're quite a difficult side to break down when we're in the lead. And so often the first goals are pretty important. But we thought we gave as good as we got. I think we had more possession than them according to the PA stats. You know, we had more shots than them according to the PA stats. So there's nothing at the moment that has made us feel that we don't deserve to be competing at this level. 
And uh, apart from Marek in goal, obviously, any other injuries that uh, fans should be aware of going into that game? No, everybody's okay. I mean, Webby's wife produced a, a, a little baby, you know, which was great timing yesterday or the day before, so that didn't interfere with uh, the season, so that's good. He's always had good timing, Webby. And, um, and, and so, no, everybody's fit, healthy, and they've seen a, you know, an addition or two to the squad. And um, that will make for people not being able to rest on their laurels because at the end of the day there'll be good competition. Just going back to the loan situation, at three o'clock on this Saturday, Kevin, you could have five loanies in your in your squad at your disposal. Yeah. You make things a bit tight as the month goes on. Is yeah. that likely to see any? Well, out of necessity, really. Mm -hmm. You know, we might have to look at it to see which we do all the time. You know, there's nothing that we do without brainstorming it mm. extensively beforehand. You know, so when people think, why has he done that? Well, you know, then there's generally a reason for it. Mm. And probably the only time they get to know is when you ask me the question sometimes, you know, but sometimes you can't always give an answer because it's not quite right for that time. But um, no, we, we, we're aware of that. Mm. And, um, you know, we've got to address it as we go on. Okay, um, Connor Henderson obviously played in the week. Is he still around? Yeah, he's, uh, Connor um, is, a, is a very good player. Actually, he's a, he's a good footballer, and uh, you know, he's been out for a little while as well. Otherwise, he'd probably still be playing for Arsenal. Mm. You know what I mean? Still be at Arsenal. So, you know, and, and we have to look at these players because they still there's nothing wrong with their football brains. You know, they're still good footballers in their brains, and all we got to do is help them get their body. Uh, the same as what they were before they were injured and you know we, we work very hard with people every day mm. and we think sometimes we can get people to back to the levels that they were at when they were first thought of as superstars sort of thing you know and uh, anyway you know we're, we're having a look there's no nobody's making any decisions just yet but um, you're right he's, he's around and training and playing for us in the in the in the reserve games but you know he played an hour in the reserve game and did very well. Mm -hmm. But you could see that um, it's gonna take two or three more games before we, we see him properly.